Grand Rising Scorpios and welcome back for another Scorpio love reading. Uh, we are still in love November, so quite naturally we're going to tap into the love, all right? So whoever it is that's vibing on a Scorpio's vibe, this is their energy, all right? Uh, it is a general, so only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. Y'all so chilly outside. Ooh, I just thought about chili. Maybe I should fix some chili, huh? I gave in the other night because I had been fasting all day and I didn't eat till like that evening. And I messed around and started watching some mukbangs. And I ended up going to Chipotle. And I ended up spending way much more money <laughs> than I planned on spending. I'm like, damn. I think I went there before and I, um, I got a burrito. And it was delicious, but I wouldn't be going, I mean, yeah, that's a lot. I'm just saying, I, I, I ain't saying nothing, but I'm just saying, those are one of those moments when I splurge on myself, because usually I should be cooking, but like I said, I've been fighting this cold, so I haven't been feeling like it, but I didn't even feel like going out there, and there was so many people out there. It was like it started getting dark so early, you just feel like it's just, you know, then the wind blowing. We're in this time of the year where the wind is really blowing hard. Um, where you can hear it. Have you ever heard the, the, the wind? It'd be like, Ooh. have you heard the wind blowing like, like it's howling? This one sounds, it's, it's real crispy. It's reminding me of crispy apples here. You, you can see the, the trees falling away and uh, the beautiful colors. It's like that autumn color. It's just like a beautiful time here. So um, this is how your person currently feels about you. All right. Now, let me know who y'all dealing with so that I can do you all the readings before, you know, we dive into fully into Sagittarius uh, energy. This is like the Scorpio's Marathon, all right? So, uh, make sure your post notification bells is turned to all because we're going to go live, okay? I know I keep saying so that you, I'm just going to do it when you least expect it. How about that, all right? So, check it out, Scorpios. Let, like I said, let me know in the comments below because, like, they changed some things. So, it's like kind of hard for me to get to my comments they, they highlight the community, which is, is cute, but I guess I need to change my phone. This phone's so old. <laughs> Look at it. It's to see better days, but it work. You know, I hate to have to start all over, but I, it's been a long time coming. I need a new phone. Shame on I should have been got me a new phone. I think I'm going to get me a, a phone where I can upload videos because I do have other phones for that because it just worked for me. But anyway, that, that's neither here nor there. So this is what's going on with the person that's in love with you. Remarkable. I feel like this is what the universe is trying to get across. It says, notice everything remarkable about your relationship. Then you have trust. It says, you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So someone may not be trusting what they feel. It says, embrace your love and connection and rejoice. So they're not embracing this because they don't trust it. Now, they could be trusting it. But you got rejoice. It's like, it's like, it's like, okay, I feel like it's like this. Although your person may be trusting, your person may be trying to, your person may be coming around to trust it because it is upright. So this could be the time, especially if you're, you seem like you're separated because it says embrace your loving connection and rejoice. That's in the reverse. It's like these two, two hearts are not together. Because although someone, uh, I feel like what something's about to turn around, I feel like someone is starting to notice um, the remarkable connection that you two have or the potential that you could two have, okay? Because you also have the universe. It's in the reverse. So the universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. So your person may not think that you're the special person for them. They, they could be thinking that or your person could be thinking that a love bond grows stronger over time. Somebody may have been fighting this connection from growing. So spirit could be dealing with this person about trusting this relationship, nurture, embracing this connection. So it's almost like the judgment card uh, answering this call for love, a spiritual awakening here. So let's see what's going on for the person in love with Scorpios in Scorpio season. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So yeah, I got the window open and it's cold. It's cold, but I want to, I want to, um, I like the fresh air without going outside, but I know it's going to get colder. So that's why I push myself. See, it's 51 degrees. That's why I push myself to go ahead on and work out because I know it's going to be, look, the high today is only 69. 
And then look, the low tonight is 42, so I had to turn the heat on last night. Then I turned it off because I got hot. <laughs> I be having a flash of child. This is something that I, I, I mean, it's just, but it look. <laughs> yeah. But I don't mind because when I go work out, it helps my body. And I listen to my affirmations to get my mind right. Because you're constantly picking up negative energy. And sometimes you got your own negative energy that you need to release on your own. So let's see. Now this is them person in love with Scorpio. What's going on with them pertaining to Scorpios? What's going on with the person in love with Scorpios? But you know, I can just freestyle and just put Scorpio videos out there. Boo, I promise I can do that. So like if, if I'm, I'm just going to just fire flow and have a spirit lead me here. So the high priest, if they're not talking, they could be reserved. They could be looking at you like you're not talking. They, like I say, how do they feel? The person loves you. How do they feel? They feel you're cold and, and not talking or or maybe they're pulling back or maybe someone's trying to be logical. Someone's trying to be strong. That They could be trying to resist you. See, I feel like somebody's trying to resist you, Scorpios. See, because there go the nine of pentacles here. See, somebody's trying to resist you. It could be a, Lib a, a Gemini. See, they go to lovers. Because I feel like you got a hold on them, but I feel like they don't like it. But it's like you you stay on their mind here. So this could have been somebody here who didn't want no relationship. Because you got the nine of pentacles, the lovers, and the devil. See? There goes the magician. Could be a Pisces. Four swords. And the knight of cups in the reverse. Underneath the bottom is the ten of swords and the chariots. So I feel like this person's trying to move on, but it's taking them a while because there go the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, they've slowed down or maybe your communication has slowed down. It could be that someone wants to find out what you got going on. Somebody could be looking at you like you're very, very secretive. But I feel like someone has been trying to resist you. They could be looking at you like you're resisting them. It's almost like somebody has a very, very deep attraction towards you. Now, this could be them in this Queen of Swords energy where they're they're not talking to you because they're trying to resist you because they, they know they're they going to want you in they, and their way with the lovers. The Nine of Pentacles, the High Priest of the Nine of Pentacles, a magician card, they're manifesting you. So you guys are not together. You got um, Four Swords and they're not making a move either. The Knight of Cups. So this person could be trying to keep their emotions out of it. So for some of y'all, this is somebody here who is not wanting to see things from an emotional level. So this could be somebody here who, uh, especially if something went wrong in the connection with the Ten of Swords, it, let's say if this is something that they did, then this is somebody here who is trying to act like they're not affected by what they did because they're not, they're, they're, um, Trying to be hard and resist this change or revent or resist making things right. Now, if they're looking at you this way, then maybe they feel like you've done something to them in the Ten of Swords and um, you're resisting them. And uh, they're in their head because they want you that type of way with the lovers. But I feel like this, they could be looking at you like you're single and you, you're a good catch and it bothers them. Somebody could be looking at you in the Knight of Cups like you are emotionally unavailable or you are emotionally withdrawn because the Four Swords means that there's, there's some time apart from each other. So either someone is trying to resist this urge because somebody is, has a lot of passion or someone is trying to resist or someone needs to stand in their power and take back the power of their life. All right, so let's see for the person in love with Scorpios. You got Capricorn, you got Leo, you got Gemini, you got Pisces, you got Pisces, you got Libra and Aquarius. Now, where your cups at? The Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Magician. So, I feel like Spirit wants somebody to change how they view this connection. It says... Notice everything remarkable about your relationship. You got two rings there. 
It says you need to trust. It says you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So someone is not having trust. Somebody don't believe that or someone that don't, don't believe it can work. So what's going on with the person in love with Scorpio? Kind of make me want to fix chili, but I'm trying to watch what I eat. Because that little, uh, that bowl, it didn't, make, it didn't make me, but it didn't make me stuff full either. So I guess that's good. I guess I shouldn't be just so stuffed. So I can go back and eat the leftovers, just make myself eat it. Since I spent so much money, god dang it. <laughs> that's going to get ate. <laughs> and I just stick to burritos, because those burritos seem to be... Seems to be that. Like I said, it's a nice concept, but it's pricey. So let's see what this high priestess is working with. Secrets. Silence. Spiritual enlightenment. See, they go to devil. And nine of swords. See, somebody in their head. I feel like they're in their head. Now, maybe you're not talking to them. For some of y'all, maybe you're not talking to this person and it got them in their head. Or someone's trying to come out of this. With the high priestess because maybe they're trying to control their thoughts. And then again, maybe somebody is worried about you offering something somewhere else or them doing it to you. It's almost like once again, this person could be trying trying to avoid doing something, but I feel like it's not as easy. Somebody may be trying to resist offering you something, all right? Because they're scared or they don't trust it. Why is this nine of pentacles here for the person in love with Scorpios? Why is the nine of pentacles? Give me one more card for... The high priest to see. I just saw the two of pentacles. See? I feel like somebody is scared. Five of pentacles. Deco that empress. See? Could be a Libra for some of y'all. But maybe they see you like this empress. See? And they go to three of swords. The nine of cups. I feel like someone is heartbroken. I feel like this relationship has gotten... May, maybe not not so good. Somebody could be attached to other things or the way that they think. Because you definitely got the lovers, the devil here twice. But they go to page of cups though. And the eight of pentacles. So someone may be being quiet. Someone may be feel like you're hiding something. Someone may feel like you're hiding something and you're investing or you're working on something with somebody else. And then for some of y'all, this person's not letting you know that that's what they want. And like I said, for some of y'all, this person may be working, working something out with another relationship that's a burden to them. It could be a burden to them because they got you on the mind. And then for some of y'all, Spirit's telling this person to work on this relationship. Notice this relationship remarkable. See, because you got the two rings here. Because someone is saying, someone is in the nine of pentacles here. See, and there go them two hands again. See, trust. Somebody may not be trusting that you're the one because maybe they've been single too long. I ain't going to say single too long. Somebody could be set in their ways. Oof. And taking that leap of faith is scary. So why is the nine of pentacles here for the person in love with Scorpios? Why is this nine of pentacles here? Now, either they see you like this or this is them. Why is the nine of pentacles here for the person in love with Scorpios? The chariot moving forward, moving towards victory. Like, I feel like this person is all about their money and their independence. They, they could be always traveling. So this person is used to doing things on their own. See, this person is used to doing things on their own. So this person could be keeping themselves back. So like, I feel like this person is about their money. And I feel like this person is trying to use work as a distraction because they want you like that. See, they go to fool and they go to ace of wands. See, I just saw that ace of wands. See, and they go to four wands. See, I feel like somebody is trying, somebody's trying to distract themselves because they want you in the worst type of way. Why is this Queen of Swords? Now they may be feeling like it's hard to get to you because you're in this Queen of Swords energy. Y'all see that wind blowing? It's about to blow everything off. Somebody not happy or they feel rejected. Now look, they go to Emperor. See? They go to Emperor. That Empress vibe coming again. What's up with this Queen of Swords? For the person in love with Scorpios, could be a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. 
It could be coming off like like you're detached. You're you know what I'm saying. You probably spirit could be telling you to notice something special about your connection, but we tapping into their energy. Why is the Queen of Swords here? There it is, the Five of Cups. Somebody has a lot of regret. Now either this is them. It could be them regretting that they didn't offer you more and now you're detached and cold. See? And now it's over. Death, see? And there go that four swords. Now somebody is lost to deal with their thoughts. Somebody's left alone to deal with their thoughts. And they got a lot of inner conflict about this connection because they don't trust it. Because somebody like doing, I feel like somebody don't trust people. Somebody may, be, may have money, but Spirit's telling somebody that they can. And for some of y'all, why is this devil card here? Clarify the devil for the person in love with Scorpios. Why is the devil here? Could be a Capricorn. Clarify the devil. I think I better go see. Overindulging, overspending, drinking. Somebody could be, ooh, somebody doing this about you. The Queen of Cups. So y'all could be dealing with the air sign, whether they're masculine or feminine, but it seems like this person here is more into feminine energy, or this could be you. You done put an end to it. Somebody got a lot of regrets for it. And I feel like somebody here may be, somebody here may have been, um, somebody may be getting drunk and thinking about you, okay, or something. Because like I say, I feel like they can't move on. I feel like somebody is drinking a lot, <clears throat> drinking on something. They doing something. This, 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 this helped them sleep. <laughs> See, <laughs> oh, that emperor trying to be strong, but little do you know, you got that person drinking. Scum, you got somebody you to turn somebody to drinking. <laughs> See, <laughs> oh snap! No wonder they say, God damn! They say you don't even can see. <laughs> Somebody feel like they're under your magical spell here because you got them drinking, you got them doing stuff or over smoking or something. Somebody doing something just so they not pull back into you, but they already under it. That's what it seemed like. Why is the magician here? <laughs> oh, it could be a Leo, Aries, Libra, Capricorn. They said they love, got them, they got them wide open. You got them wide open, Scorpios. Ooh, with that magic. Ooh, they go to Queen of Pentacles here. See there, and I feel like this person don't want to commit, but I feel like they're drawn to you like this, see? And they go to Ten of Cups, see? And they go to Star. There it is. Something can be healed here. A relationship is healing, but somebody got to make up their mind. They go to Judgment. Somebody can make up their mind whether or not they want to heal this. That's why Spirit is telling somebody to trust. Trust. Don't get caught up on, what. once again, what you see. You got to follow your heart or follow the divine guidance. Why is this four swords here for the person in love with Scorpios? Page of Wands in the reverse. See, I feel like somebody's pulling back and they're thinking about all of the games that was played. Five of Swords in the reverse. You're going to hear from somebody that go to Eight of Wands and the King of, One, King, of, King of Swords and go to King of Swords again. See? Nine of Wands. Because this person was wounded. So this person could be, y'all could have blocked this person because you don't want the confusion. Or this person was trying to block this because it was, it, was, it was bringing too much conflict in their life. And then somebody could hear somebody else. Like, I feel like somebody probably was all about their ego. Why is the lovers here for the person in love with Scorpios? See, you got the king. Is this the one? Hey, you got the king. I just did a, oh, you got the king and the queen of swords, see? And you got the emperor and the empress, see? So they, they look at you like this. So I feel like somebody has a lot of regret by how they did this relationship because now it's over or y'all distant from each other. You don't trust them. Why is the lovers here for the person in love with Scorpio, see? But it's almost like spirits dealing with someone, dealing with how they view you, how they've done you. What are they going to do, if anything? Do you right is what I feel like. Because once again, there's the opportunity is here. The lovers see and there's tempers. Could be a Sagittarius. They want them cups to come back together. What you thought? Gemini, Sagittarius, see. 
Two of Cups, see? But I feel like this person has a problem with committing here, see? <laughs> or for some of y'all, they may feel like you're blocking them or they're blocking it because you got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. What's going on with the Knight of Cups in the reverse for the person in love with Scorpios? What's going on with the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Ace of Swords. They go there. Ace of Swords. See? somebody. It's time for somebody to speak their truth. See? And there it is. See? The King of Cups. See? I told you. It's time for somebody to speak their truth. They go to Six of Pentacles. Because someone was holding back. See? Because they go to Nine of Pentacles. See? Somebody probably was selfish in giving. But Spirit says it's time for them to speak their truth. See, because they're watching you because they may have not been honest with themselves. See, somebody was trying so hard to hold back their feelings for you, but they didn't feel in love. Why is the uh, strength here? Because you got the king and the queen of cups. Now, you got the king and the queen of swords. Now, you got the emperor and the freaking empress. All right, that part. Oof. Strength. Look at that. Knight of cups in the reverse. It's turning around with the Knight of Cups in the upright. Followed by the Page of Pentacles and the Hangman in the reverse. Their whole perception and perspective is changed. See? See? Now they're looking at things on a brighter perspective here. See? Because I feel like somebody is looking at... Somebody does not want to be on your cold side. Somebody can actually see you guys going the distance here. Because after all, you got the Emperor and the Empress. You got... I see that Queen of Pentacles. Did I see the King of Pentacles? I feel like somebody is looking at you like marriage material or like, like y'all can actually go the distance now because at first they wasn't trusting it. But I feel like Spirit is showing them. It says, notice everything remarkable about your relationship. Then you have trust. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So maybe someone is realizing that they didn't trust it. They didn't want to trust it. But now they're seeing things differently here because I feel like they want you back. See, they want it back, Scorpio. They do because they are in love. That's your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.